To transfer data to a PC, connect the USB cable with the USB port of the control unit. The other end you have to plug in into a free USB port of the computer. Now power on the control unit so the computer can recognize the ground navigator. Before you can transfer any data, the USB drivers need to be installed. This step may be skipped if you got a pre-configured computer from your dealer. If this window will not disappear within some seconds, you can close it manually by clicking Close. We have to install the drivers by ourselves anyway. Therefore, you have to click the Windows button, then you click on Settings, now on System and About. In the window on the right, you scroll down and click on Device Manager. After the Device Manager appeared on screen, you can get rid of the previous window. Now you select the 3D Ground Navigator entry and right click with the mouse. You click on Update Driver Software and then on Browse my computer for driver software. Now you have to select the driver folder from your Visualizer 3D CD, which is located under Drivers USB Cable. After clicking on Next, the drivers will be installed. As you can see, there is a new entry called USB Serial Port that also needs to be updated with our drivers. So you have to repeat the whole process again. There is a new USB Serial Port available. Here a COM port number of 3 has been assigned. Please keep this number in mind because you will need it for the actual data transfer. Now let's see how to transfer the scanned data from our control unit to the computer. Therefore, start the Visualizer 3D software and click on the New Project button. In the upcoming window, you have to select your device first, which is the Ground Navigator. Secondly, you select the COM port number that you learned during the installation of your drivers. If you got your computer from your dealer, there might be a sticker on your package with the correct COM port number. Please pick the right number from the interface list. The next thing you have to select is the right operating mode. After scanning an area in ground scan mode, you select ground scan. If you are going to transfer live data in discrimination mode, you select discrimination. Then you enter the number of impulses that you have used for a single scanning path during ground scan. In our example of this user's video, we used 20 impulses and we did a parallel scan, not zigzag. After clicking the OK button, the software is ready to receive data. Now you have to initiate the transfer by selecting the force operating mode transfer memory to PC. When the device is ready, push the start button. After all data has been transferred, click the stop button. The next step would be to enter the characteristics of your scan. So you may enter a meaningful title and some additional remarks that are important for your scan. Furthermore, you have to enter the length and width of your scan area, as well as the soil type. Only then you will be able to determine position and depth of your potential objects. Please read the user's manual for detailed information concerning the usage of Visualizer 3D. There are also additional instruction videos on YouTube. 